I was in kindergarten and I, I looked down, drops of paint everywhere, all dripped on the paper and I picked it up and all of a sudden I saw yellow and blue come together and just swirl and just swirl. All of a sudden it changed to green. I go, this is magic. That was like this little light bulb went on in my head. I just saw magic performed. I want to make this magic forever. He's masterful with color and the brush strokes and the, his rendering. Carlos is weird, Carlos is funny, Carlos is brilliant, and Carlos is humble. And he is incredibly talented as a painter. I try to ignore everything, to tell you the truth. I live the lowest common denominator. It's all clutter around. Why live with this complex equation, you know? Don't complicate everything, just live the simplest, you know? What we're doing is tapping in to a, a soul or spirit, you know? I'm coming truthfully from myself, my heart, my spirit, to the heart and spirit of others, you know? Especially teaching, you know? I love Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I tell youth, paint your truth, you know, paint your truth because you're manifesting that through your mind, your heart, and through your hand, and th through that brush onto the surface. So it's coming from all from you. Carlos's murals come from a tradition of, of the Tres Grandes, the three great muralists of Mexico. Denver considers itself to be one of the mural capitals. Well, it is because the Chicano artists and artists like Carlos have made it such. Carlos is not shy about speaking to injustices. So whether that be, um, and it primarily through um, Chicano rights and the Chicano rights movement, he got involved in the Chicano rights movement as a young teenager. We marched. 15th and Market, all the way up to the state capitol. And when I got to the state capitol, we hear uh, uh, people speak, and I heard it's like that we come from a, a, a powerful people. Our backgrounds are indigenous or Spanish, European, we're this mixed blood, and we come from the ancients here in the Americas. And it's like this empowering, empowering moment in my life. Carlos has been instrumental in transforming the way that the inner city of Denver looks at itself. And uh, if you want to see vestiges of the Chicano movement and political activism, you can see it happening in those murals from where they came. So Carlos's footprint is, is huge. I do want to make an impact in our, in our city. I do want to make impact with my art, with, with youth. I want to inspire. It's a journey, you know? It's gonna be a lifelong journey. To know Carlos's work is to know him as a person and to know his community. So many of his works are a rendition of a self-portrait. So we see the many different faces of Carlos. Uh, we see his family and we see lots of landmarks from Denver that have been important to him and to his community. That mark I put down is caring so much. And others may just look at it like, oh, that's just a color smeared on there. But they don't realize what's behind all that. I want to carry truth, sincerity, integrity, compassion. Everything that makes a good person, I want to live that. <laughs>